Now, do you expect more stress in the China property market and among uh, the developers? Yes, I think the stress level is probably not going to come down anytime soon because of the China's zero COVID policy. We are seeing homeowners actually uh, refuse to pay mortgage payment and that's going to uh, affect the liquidity in the market. Uh, to the broader area, if you look at some of the developers, they are relatively young. They are only in the business for 20, 25 years and they have never experienced a downturn. And this, this uh, resulted that most of the developers are highly leveraged and they usually uh, go to the bond market to get cheap loans. But uh, at the moment, I think that's a, a big issue because uh, a lot of the bond investors are not getting their pay payments and uh, in the in the um, also at the same time they are not able to get the uh, mortgage payments from some of the owners who cited uh, construction delays because of the COVID policies so unless these uh, cash flow issues is addressed I think uh, the stress level is not going to come down anytime soon and are you expecting this cash flow uh, I don't know if you would characterize that as a crisis uh, but challenge uh, do you expect this cash flow challenge to, to ease I think the cash flow challenge might ease because last night China has uh, started to soften their stand on COVID zero policies. So in the coming year, in fact, we expect uh, some normalization, although it's going to be quite gradual in terms of the easing of the COVID policies. But uh, if uh, growth is uh, their priority in the next coming year, I think uh, government is uh, likely to continue to support the property market, especially with regard to injecting uh, liquidity and to prevent systemic uh, failure of some of the developers.